Hello parents, this is Coach John here from Learning Out of the Box. And right now I am going to do a question that is really common. And in fact, your child has learned this probably since primary three. And it and it's tested all the way until primary six. Yep. And this is none other than equal fraction. Okay, equal fraction. Again, I will not be able to see any any um comments. Yeah, because I'm going into the Zoom platform to solve the question and then uh probably take on any question at the end. Yep. Okay, so so share screen. Okay. 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 Let me just do a quick check. That is is uh working in the Facebook group. All right. So in this question, okay, what is the first thing that we will do? when we see any question yeah so what is the first thing that we will do when we see any question okay so the first thing that you must do is always follow the five step lb method which is your kcnsu and this is one of the effective ways more effective ways to summarize your question and to make it easier for yourself and your child and a lot of times when a child gets um, distracted or gets confused, uh, it's probably because he didn't spend the time to process the question. And what I meant by processing actually means that you want to just focus on highlighting keywords. All right, so here goes. Okay, so Nell had some chocolate cookies and some strawberry cookies. Two third of the number of chocolate cookies was equal to one fifth of the number of strawberry cookies. Now, parents, are you able to see a problem side problem sum type here? Are you able to see a problem sum type here? Or before that, are you able to tell me out of this whole sentence from two, two third to cookies here, which is the most important keyword? Okay, which is the most important keyword? All right, the most important keyword here is equal to. Yeah, is equal to, and you can see that the structure of this question is. Fraction, the first fraction, object one, keyword equal to another fraction, object two. Okay, so this is none other than the concept equal fraction. Okay. So if you are able to recognize equal fraction from this question, congratulations, you're on the right track. But if you are not able to recognize what's going on, you will want to tweak your, your learning method yeah, to more heuristic and then also to recognize or identify key problem sum words okay so the first part here is actually equal fraction okay then after that you have um, the rest of the story which is after Niel made 24 more chocolate cookies the number of chocolate cookies was half of the number of strawberry cookies okay so let me explain why the I circle one 
and two separately. Because there's this skill that high achievers do to quickly start to solve while reading the question is link the numerator to the object on the left side and link the denominator to the object on the right side. Yeah, okay. If by doing this, um, strike out some words, yeah. I do not recommend that you do this, yeah. What you can do instead is just draw here. You know, it's like a spear, like a ninja darts or something, or a wave. So S for strawberry, so you quickly put a, put a S here, yeah. So C for chocolate, so C link to one, two link to S, okay. So put a yes if you see your child doing this. If you don't see this, um, please enforce it at home. Yeah. If you want high marks, you have to enforce a lot of good study habits at home. Okay. Okay. So in fact, there are two parts to this question, and then ending off with a question as usual, which is how many cookies did he have all together in the end? Okay, fine. All right. Now, what is the LOB method to solve equal fraction fast? What is the LOB method to solve equal fraction fast? Okay, this is something that you will have seen it before. If you are a LOB parent, LOB stands for learning out of the box. Yeah. So, so uh, we train LOB parents uh, in terms of heuristics. Yeah. This is tic tac toe. Okay. So when you see equal to, it tells you it's equal fraction. Okay. So, so the method is tick tag toe, all right? So please take notes, okay? So here you have to put in objects one, chocolate and strawberry for object two, and here you write down equal, okay? Equal, or make it more complete, equal fraction. So two third as well as one fifth, okay? So um, this question is more for point five and six. So by now, they should have learned how to make um, numerator the same for equal fraction. So if you can't remember, do you make up or bottom the same? Remember, U stands for up, okay? So make up the number on top the same. Okay, so uh, two and one. So the common multiple of two and one is two. So we have, 2 over 10, okay? Okay, so in some schools, probably you have learned this also, which is, um, okay, which is make numerators the same, okay? Or same numerators, yeah? Same numerators, numerators means the number on top, okay? Okay, so so um, again, it's a pity that some children didn't learn this in school. So um, it's the parent's responsibility to make sure that your child is learning the right method. Okay. Okay, so um, to add on, some children learn equal fraction in primary three and four. Uh, they are using the modern method, and then when it when you go to P five and six make sure you upgrade your method as well, okay? Because if you don't upgrade your method to become faster, you'll be spending a lot of time to draw model and then you realize that you do not have enough time to do the rest of the question, okay? Okay, so, and there's also another um, confusing technique, which is to make denominator the same. Um, again, it depends, it depends on the question. 
uh, in this context, because you cannot assume that, um, okay, this sentence doesn't mean that there are equal number of uh, chocolate cookies and strawberry cookies, okay? So it's only the numerator that's equal. So this denominator will tell you that at first, chocolate has three units and strawberry has 10 units, okay? Okay, so now, so after you have finished the first sentence, um, you just continue, okay, all right? And many children can do this very fast because they have learned the tic-tac-toe method. So if you are comfortable with heuristic and you are familiar with, with it, you will know the formula-like method to solve. Okay, so next one. After Niao made 24 more chocolate cookies, so the number of chocolate cookies was half of the strawberry cookies. So meaning that um, if you want to draw a model, fine. So this is after. And so ch chocolate has one box, strawberry has two boxes, okay? So in this case, is there's is another concept here which we call um, same one, yeah, same one, or one unchanged. All right, one unchanged. So be more ready to to identify the problem sum type. Yeah, do not just jump in to try to solve. So in this case. There's no change for strawberry, so this is the same, okay? <clears throat> so here, in fact, the number of strawberries <clears throat> is the same, as in the units for the strawberry cookies is the same. So if it's 10U, this will be 5U, okay? <clears throat> and then you realize that the rest is just math. For C, it was 3U, three, three then it became 5U. So the increase for the C is 5U minus 3U, which is 2U. And this one is because of 24 more cookies. <clears throat> okay, so 2U equals to 24 and 1U is 12. Okay, another thing that you must note is always find the value of 1u. And this is what Coach John say, this is your North Star. Okay, this is your North Star. In fact, this is like your intermediate step. So if a child always go up to you and say, Papa, Mama, I don't know how to do, and it's totally blank, you want to make sure that he goes back to try to write down something. And the reason is because if you don't enforce that at home, can you imagine, uh, do you think he'll write something in the exam? Probably he'll leave it blank. Yeah, so you want to enforce such good study habits at home too by pushing it back to him and say, you got to write something. Write down at least the three steps. Don't tell me you don't know how to do. Circle the keywords. Write the working steps. Write at least the first sentence. Then two more, all right? Okay, so now, so, okay, so I think uh, that's the, almost the end. Okay, uh, it's almost the end, so let's see, yeah. Okay, so now, how many, how many cookies did he have all together in the end? In the end, you have five and you have 10, so it's 15 cookies. So it's 12 times 15, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, I do not have a calculator with me here. What is 12 times 15? Is it 180? Okay, 180. Yeah, it's 180. Okay, so... um. Kids who are disciplined, or at least they are more disciplined, um, and their teachers want them to 
write down whatever units um, they, they see. Yeah. So even cookies is not really a unit like CM, KG. Um, I can see kids actually writing that down because their teacher say so. Okay. So that's it for this one. And, and it's actually um, more of like recognition of keywords to tell you the concept. So in this case, equal to keyword tells you is equal fraction and equal fraction tells you to use tic-tac-toe, which is a LOB method, which is basically to make numerator the same. Then later you realize in part two, there's actually um, one unchanged or same one. So making sure that the one that's not changed um, has the same number of units. And then also making sure that you want to find your North star, which is to find the value of one U and the rest is just math. All right, the rest is just math. Okay, so let me just go back to, to the... Facebook page. Yeah. Okay, parents, um, type in learn. If you have learned something new, type in learn. <clears throat> L-E-A-R-N. Type in learn if you have learned something new today. Okay, great, 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 great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes. So I'm so glad that many of you uh, are here and are learning something. So what you want to do now is make sure that you are able to solve it as well as uh, let your child solve it. And I've always feel that the more effective way to learn is to let our children struggle, uh, meaning that you want your child to go through the processes of solving problem sum, which is highlighting keywords, finding the concept, and sometimes they may not know what is it, but you want them to like um, be and be okay be comfortable um, even if they highlighted the wrong keyword. Yeah, because I think there's, there's a theory of, of failing fast. That means um, when you fail fast, it doesn't mean that it's a failure. You fail fast to, to move forward and to find, to figure out what actually works, okay? So I'll see you in the next Facebook Live for this one. Okay, take care, bye-bye.